you got to remember to talk right into the microphone. And don't be eating pizza when they come live. You can you can Beastie Boys it and just kind of, you know, check From one, above. two. Yeah, Is that how you two. Beastie Boys it? I mean, how do you Beastie Send Boys it? Send a stage on the mic. <laughs> Welcome back. God, is a leash before Bartle bust into... Oh, I, I was this close. <laughs> you, you, you were ready. <laughs> I was this close. You are ready to go all Mike yeah, D on Jimmy us. James. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> welcome back. This is God, is at least. Do this each and every Tuesday, 2 to 3 p.m., so long as the team's in town. I'm Ryan Holtes, Kevin Bartle, Liam Huchelak, joining us here for our uh, guest picker segment to talk a little bit more about... Uh, I am uh, the oil industry night coming up in Condor's Town. Uh, can also catch Condor's Unleash, My 45, 11.30 in the morning, Saturday mornings at 11.30 on My 45. So you cannot, if you mean, if you miss this here, you get us on Condor's.tv, get us on My 45. It's becoming a phenomenon. ESPN is in talks with picking us up uh, right after first take. That's a lie. That's a lie. A little that's bit. A, that's a lie. It might happen, though. It might happen. We don't know hey, that. Hey, if you, if you don't ask... They can't say yes. You can't make any sales if you don't make any calls. That's right. That's right. Liam Hoochalak. We just like to call him Hooch. Got to give a shout out. Angie watching, so we got to give a shout out. She is. is. She'll be very happy now. She'll be very happy. (laughs) (laughs) Former Miss Bakersfield, Angie Hoochalak. It's true. That is true. Yeah. Yeah, they're uh, a list couple. <laughs> yeah, well, just, read uh, his, just read his bio. Yeah. At least a B. On the Condors at least website. a B. At least B. A solid B. Yeah. Just solid. like his grades at Colgate. Solid, solid, <laughs> solid B. B. <laughs> solid B's get degrees, Barts. Yeah, hey, we weren't all these. Colgate's a tough school. It is. B minus was yeah. actually. It's, they, pro- they just, it's almost Ivy. Listen, they don't just hand out grades <laughs> to hockey players like they do at Holy Cross. They play in the Ivy Conference. That's true. <laughs> you know, with the Ivy League schools. That's right. There are the at, other six. I was at Harvard, Yale. I was, you, I was you were there. there. You were at all of them. You were there. I was there. <laughs> you met people. You said hello. <laughs> Might have even eaten the lunchroom. Who knows? Yeah, I yeah. sure did. Uh, Hooch, so, you know, aside from your prolific, prolific hockey career and, and now married to Miss Bakersfield, uh, <laughs> you're also now working for the Condors. And uh, I am the oil industry night coming up uh, here December the 11th. Uh, a chance to kind of uh, give back, if you will, to the, to the oil community and, and, and what they mean here to Kern County. Yeah, definitely. We're uh, one of our uh, big sponsors is Kern Citizens for Energy and um, partnered up with them. And we're we're just holding an appreciation night, really. Um, we're hoping that everybody in the oil and gas industry uh, comes out, uh, buys discounted tickets on uh, on the link that we sent out. Hopefully everybody's got it. Uh, we'll keep keep blasting it out there. And hopefully it's just a, a night to come out, watch the Condors beat uh, San Diego, I believe. And Whoever, I mean, anybody, it, whoever, doesn't matter. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. But yeah, it's uh, San Diego, so it's going to be a great rivalry game. And then, uh, yeah, it's 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 going to be a it's going to be great. There's hopefully, hopefully get everybody out. Hopefully, pack Robo Bank Arena, make it fun. So before you uh, had the chance to put on that fancy button that says "I am the oil industry," you actually were the oil industry. I, I did. Up I, in Canada yeah. before and you you'll came be back coming down. to the Condors game. So. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So <laughs> I, I am supporting it definitely. And uh, yeah, I was as soon as I uh, retired from playing there, we, uh, my wife and I, moved back up to Canada. Lived in Calgary for a year, and then actually Edmonton for a year, um, which is actually eventually how I uh, got a little interview with the Edmonton Oilers and mentioned that I'd like to come to Bakersfield. And well, well look, naturally, look at I this. mean, anybody living in Edmonton should just go and say, "Wow, the Condors are fun." Just walk into the Oilers' office and say, hey, how do I work? You guys are great. I love you guys. How do I work for them, though? But I love the condos. (laughs) How do I I live in the the temperate? I I noticed, by the way, that uh, you were not successful lasting more than a couple of years with your wife in Alberta. (laughs) Yeah, you know what? I... (laughs) When I when we first got there, I bought her a Canadian goose jacket. I don't know if you've ever seen one of those. Yeah, I had to take out a loan to get one. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so so after that, we we lasted uh, another year and a half, and then uh, we're we're back in California now. So. It's a couple of summers, anyways. Right, buy you some right. time. We're we're heading to Calgary, by the way. It's our pit stop on our way to Winnipeg. You're also pit stopping in Edmonton. Yes, on your way home. Anybody in Edmonton want to come see us? We'll be at hanging at out, YEG Airport. Hanging out at YEG. Yeah, what's uh, what's Calgary YYC? YYC. Oh, yeah. All right. See, yeah. I know I'm pretty decent on my airport goes, but uh, we got upcoming games uh, here in Condorcet Town, and then off to to Winnipeg. So 10:30 in the morning, screaming kids. 
Were you part of the, the Condors for the field trip day game? I was. It was. We played uh, the Victoria Salmon Kings when mm-hmm. I was here. So yeah, it was pretty crazy. Little little different getting up. You have to eat your Cheerios before the game. I mean, do you? I mean, do you eat a regular meal beforehand, or is it just breakfast? You know, it it was just breakfast. I was I was kind of way off that game. You know, I felt <laughs> I felt pretty weird that game. I I know uh, Platts there said it would just be a normal day, but it's, we, it's, it's weird. It's weird. <laughs> it's fun. Uh, and then the Condors off to Manitoba. Friday at 5, that's Condors Town time. We get some Manitoba moves. Sunday at noon. Cool logo. Condors Town time. Cool logo. They switched it up for the Jets colors, but the old logo is even just as good. Uh, Manitoba moves. Looking forward to getting up there uh, to Winnipeg. It's only supposed to be uh, 25 Fahrenheit uh, in Winnipeg this weekend. That's that's balmy. <laughs> it's balmy in Winnipeg. It'll be that much warmer when you come back to Congress. I just can't so. wait to hear the, uh, the the weather forecast when they say, yeah, it's going to be uh, minus 5 today. And you're like, oh, oh, wait, that's like 30 degrees. Okay, right. never mind. <laughs> uh, so that's the upcoming schedule for the Condors. And, oh, thank you to Lewis Amos. Do we have the, uh, the map? Of, yeah, that's if you're driving. This isn't exactly how we're going to get there. You're more like but this. Yeah. And, and over. over here and then over. But, you know. I mean, Whatever. look at the. I mean, if you were driving, we got some detours. We got some road construction. Denver is a mess right now. I wouldn't take that <laughs> route. But I mean, look, you got to drive halfway across the country. Yeah, not bad. I, I thought Winnipeg was more closer to North Dakota than what it was, but it's not. It's not. Yeah. Nope. I'm wrong. Imagine that. I'm wrong. How about All right. that? Moving All on. Right. Five hours and 20 minutes on a flight. Okay. And we lose two hours. For, for 695 bucks too. Thank you, Lewis. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Lewis. In case anyone's interested, this yeah. is the direct flight that the Condors aren't taking. But there you go. 700 bucks for a flight. All right. Canada, you're expensive. <laughs> How expensive is a box of Timbits? Can we find that out? I don't know, but what, do you, I mean, are we talking loonies here? Or? A Seriously, box. I, I, am it's I gotta be am like two ninety nine, maybe. I know I said twenty five, and that that seems like a lot. I'm kind of rethinking it. I think I still take the over. How, how are Tim, Tim Hortons? Hortons? Yeah. How are Tim Hortons breakfast sandwiches? Because I'm more of a breakfast sandwich. Oh, they're great. No, they're no, great. no, 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 no. Timbits are. Timbits are your way to go, Timbits, though. Timbits. Yeah. Okay. They're healthy. Kind All right. Of. Do they have Boston cream little. donuts there? I don't know. Oh, we got something like that, yeah. Something like that. Uh, Condors, Louis Amistad mentioned it uh, on Twitter earlier today. This is uh, coming on up. And everything in Lotus, ready? Everything's starting to – everyone's coming back down to earth. All crunching back together. Yeah, everyone started out with 950 winning percentage. Everyone's <laughs> starting to come back to normalcy here. So uh, things are starting to turn around. Condors get San Jose. And then Manitoba is in second to last uh, up in the uh, Central Division as well, too. So. Antonio. San Antonio won good. again this morning. They Just beat Texas. one regulation loss. Yep, they've been pretty good. They'll come back down to earth, though. Don't worry about it. Not this weekend after I pick them. Yeah, here we go. All right. All right. Nope. We get the picks. Yes, picker is nine and three. I get 90 seconds. I'm embarrassed. Yeah, you should be. All right, here we go. First uh, game, San Diego at Stockton. This is a Wednesday game. Uh, Hooch, we always give you the honor. Why, why are you going with the Gulls? Uh, they're, they're a good team. They've, they've got good goaltending there. Yeah. I just it's got feeling. It's a Hooch guarantee is what. Whoa. Hooch guarantees. Is that a thing? We need a, we need a <laughs> I, horn. I just made, I just made it a thing. <laughs> Hooch's guarantee. Yep. That's great. Uh, I, I can't argue that. Stockton is not good. Uh, Ontario at San Antonio. This is a Friday game for Ontario at San Antonio. Hooch, you're the only one going with the Ontario <laughs> rain to pull the uh, uh, semi-upset down at San Antonio. Why? You know what? I With one loss, I, they're, it's pressure. They're they're going to fold here, I think. Sooner I think or later. This is it. I think this fold is it. Fold in the game, not fold literally. <laughs> in this <laughs> game. All right, last uh, game. We had to double up on Stockton because we love them so much. I, I went with San Jose. Bar- oh, now you're picking Stockton over San Jose. Why that? <laughs> San- Stockton's got to win. They they need to win. <laughs> they need and to win. I, I have a good feeling about them. Yeah. Against, uh, I have a good feeling about next week me being 9-6 and six <laughs> and the guest picker being 9-6. and six. That's it. That's how we guest pick. Hooch is wearing our merch item of the night, so go pick it up. Look at, at those store. things. Retail yes. value, 65 bucks. These Phenomenal. It's fantastic. He's Kevin Bartle. I'm Ryan Holt. Hooch, thanks for coming on. Thank you very much. Have a great Appreciate day, Alberta. This is Big Condors Unleashed, Bakersfield.com. Goodbye.